Now, she has lost her voice. Yes. Completely. Out and why? Yeah. Do you remember when she started? Um. That was nine years ago. She had nine years ago. She had her first baby. Yeah. And that was um. Um. What was the name of it? Saving all my love for you. I'm saving all. Yeah, that one. Okay. And the voice was beautiful, and clear, and warm, and she was beautiful, and mm -hmm. young, and fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She looks now like she's worked every dive mm -hmm. from here to New York and back again. Yeah, yeah. Um, hard, uh, arrogant, mm. and what has happened to her was she made a decision that she wanted to appeal to a younger audience. She wanted to, to get the young kids really listening to her, so she wanted to do the music that they enjoyed. Mm. And that's what she started doing. Mm. And um, singing and killing herself. And um, she started going into a falsetto, as the males so frequently do in rock and roll and the yes. blues. Um, and the voice started falling. Because she, had, you have to realize, Whitney was raised on gospel. Mm -hmm. She was singing in gospel choirs mm -hmm. when she was four years old. Yes. They start young. Yes. They start young, very religious family. So as a consequence, she changed her style to address a younger audience, very much as Bob, but Barbara only did for a minute. Mm -hmm. She did one album. Mm -hmm. Where she sang with uh, Donna Summers. Remember yeah, that? Yes. It was horrible. She wanted yeah. to do rock and roll. Yeah. I'll never forget when Barbara came to me, she was 19, and she said, Judy, i got to make it, i got to do this in her because I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. I'm getting older. I don't well, even Sammy Davis made a, a quote-unquote pseudo rock and roll thing, and I, after I listened to it, I, you know, I never heard anything after that. I said, no, no, no. Oh, no, that's when he developed notes. Yes. He had 21 of the freaks. We won't talk about yeah. Sam right now. Um, but so Whitney decided she was going to sing rock and roll. Barbara decided she was going to sing rock and roll, but it only lasted for a minute. Right, yes. Michael? Yes. Because what was she trying to do? Barbara was trying to be something that was not Barbara. Yes. You see? Mm -hmm. Whitney did the same thing. Mm -hmm. She changed her identity to appeal to another market. Barbara did the one album and realized, they don't like me because I'm not being me. Yes. That it was not her her thing, yes. right? So she didn't, she cut it. Yes. People didn't want to hear Barbara Streisand do rock and roll. She could hit all the notes and no falsettos. Yes. Judy Davis, Judy Davis. Yes, dear. All right, sweetheart, drive carefully. Uh, we'll see when we get here. We're going to do a lot of interesting stuff, okay? All right, dear. Bye bye. Um, and yeah. So let me finish. What Whitney has done is to change herself. She's not being Whitney. She didn't. She's changed along about four years ago, mm -hmm. and she started doing all this rock and roll crap mm -hmm. and this, you know, this wandering around. So I didn't. The first time I heard this, I thought, "What's she talking about?" But I couldn't understand what she was talking about, let alone what she was singing about. What the hell kind of opener is that? Yes. It was yeah. a real downer. Yeah. I'm going to leave because if I don't, you won't get on with your life, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Really a drag. And in between all these falsettos, now that's what did the damage. You understand that, Mike? Yes. Because you understand about the difference between the two. There's a sheet in there, like a little tissue mm -hmm. or a uh, what is the word I want? Membrane. Membrane yes. that holds the false chords to the true chords. Mm -hmm. And these were designed not to be used for singing, yeah. but to take over if there was injury to the true chords. Yeah. Now she's done this and gone back and forth, over and back. Oh, you hear her. She yes. slips right from one note into a falsetto. Yes. She has, um, the, the membrane has deteriorated. Mm -hmm. It no longer adheres. So she can go for a note in her own voice, and it'll just slip. Yes. It's yes. called a slipping larynx. Yeah. You, you see? Yes. It's lost its elasticity. It is not 
impossible to repair it. At She's all. done. She is done. Even As if I you sing, stop just singing no, for a year or two years no, and just let it no, maybe it heal not, itself? No, it won't heal itself. Mm. Because it's lost as an elasticity. Mm. You, like a rubber bag, like a, a piece of elastic. Mm -hmm. If you stretch it and stretch it, you can let it lay in the drawer. It will not go back. Mm -hmm. And this, this piece that joins these two is, has lost all of its resilience. Mm. There's nothing there. Yes. This is why women in the operatic field go down by the time between 46 and 50, they're through. Yes. Because they've gone through the menopause, the mus muscular structure changes. Men don't do that. Now, what effect does, let's say, having a, a glass of wine every, every every other night or every... Well, it has an effect, but we're not into that. Yeah. That has nothing to do with this. Mm. That just makes, that just dries out the vocal cords. Mm. Um, so back to where I was. The men in the operatic field never sang in a falsetto mm -hmm. because the roles they played were macho, mm -hmm. and that's not the sound of a macho man. Yeah. <laughs> a gay man, yes, yeah. but not a macho. Mm -hmm. It has proven to be effective for little boys doing rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Why? Because sexually, that sound does not challenge little girls. Mm -hmm. That's why they're so strong with the with it with the Bobby Sockets. This is mm -hmm. important for you to understand. Mm -hmm. Because that sound of the falsetto to these little kids mm -hmm. is they're not threatened sexually because it sounds like their voice. Mm -hmm. The little girl. Yes. Do you see? They have the long hair and they're singing that falsetto and so they're they're not threatened by it mm -hmm. as males. Um, men's vocal cords basically are thicker and longer than women's. So they don't break down as fast. Yes. But take a look at the people who have broken down. People who stepped outside of their range yes. and used that full set. When Mary Martin did South Pacific on the way, they brought Itzio Pinza out of retirement. retirement yeah. The 68 years old. Yeah. He worked on he worked for two months before they went into rehearsal on his voice. He never sang better. Hmm. He was wonderful. All the richness, all the warmth, the beauty of the voice was there. Yes. And for two, uh, three years, South Pacific on Broadway. Yeah. Never had a breakdown. Yeah. Because men in the operatic field yeah. don't use a falsetto because of the roles they call a masculine. Yes. Women do, and they're trained to do it, hmm. to go back and forth over that bridge, back and forth. But ultimately, when they go through the menopause, the muscles, I can promise you, deteriorate to a certain degree. And not only that, but they, they, don't, they don't appear five nights a week. They may do traviata for three nights here, mm -hmm. they have two weeks off, and they do it in Denver. Mm -hmm. Or they have a week off, and they do it in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Or they have three weeks off, and they do it in New York for four performances. Yes. You see, just so two or three performances. Mm -hmm. And then they have time off. Yes. So as a consequence, they do, in a sense, last. Mm -hmm. But by the time they're 45, mm -hmm. the, it, it begins to deteriorate. Mm -hmm. That's why we lost Beverly Sills, mm -hmm. Leontine Price, mm -hmm. Anna Marfo, mm -hmm. uh, what's her name? It was um, Aristotle's mistress for years. Uh, the, the Maria Jack, Callas? Maria Callas. You see, the voices I mean, went down. I like it when I know these things, yeah. little trivia. But yeah, they're not trivia. Yeah. Very important background. Yeah. The voices went down, mm -hmm. and so they stopped singing. Mm -hmm. The only one that has not been defied by that process is Joan Sutherland, who is now 70 years old, and she still has all this going, and the full voice, the whole thing, because yes. she never sang in a full set of you find that with people who use a full set of women, yeah. all of a sudden you notice how sharp she went, how flat she went. She yeah. was all over the place. Yeah, it was, uh, she just didn't want to listen to you. Even her own sound, yeah. in her own true voice, she still was flat and sharp because of, I guess, terror that it's going to slip yeah. off. And I so, at any rate, the point is she has developed well as an actress, thank God. There is a field for her there. You think Though, so? Oh, yeah. She, she's done very, very well. Three movies now she's been. Yeah. Just very good. Um, how many 
roles she can play. Now, she's doing the thing for Disney, Cinderella. Oh. Yeah, and, um, and of course, with recording, they can fix certain things electronically mm. so that she'll be in tune. Yes. Um, but they cannot fix the structure of the voice. Yes. Her, she, she, she's through. What would really now, probably the, the, blow away people is if she starts doing performances with recorded music, like they found those singers a few years ago that were yeah. they weren't really singing. It well, was that that is nothing. Yeah. That, that's been done in the motion picture industry for years and years and years. You don't really think Audrey Hepburn is singing in My Fair Lady. No. <laughs> no. One lady does all of it, and she's fabulous. But at any rate, the the point is that. Uh, uh, she can't, that cannot be restored. Mm. She was having problems, so she went to um, Seth Riggs yes. in LA. Well, he compounded the problem mm. because he was going to teach her how to go back and forth over it. She knew how to go back and forth. So she quit there and she came up. I don't know who this person is, but it's someone in San Francisco, a man, a newcomer. And she came up and worked with him, and he finished the job. Yeah, yeah. Going over. They have a new, they have a new expression for this. They're going to mix the voice. Now, where did that come from? Well, in recording, when you mix the, uh, the voices mm -hmm. together, you blend them. You blend. Them. You're yeah. going to mix it. What they're, but what are they talking about? We mix the voice. Hmm. What are they talking about? Probably having her recorded five or six times. And no, 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 no. This is this is the voice teachers. Mm. This is a new lingo. Oh, for voice teachers, okay. Yes, well, they're going to mix the voice. What are they talking about? I'm guessing they're probably going to go between false and real. Yeah, and false over and, and over. So, yeah. Which is not new, but you see how that's a Hollywood term for it. Yes. All the voice teachers in Hollywood are going to mix the voice. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing is what's been done uh, for the last ever since the 14th century. I mean, they're still training female opera singers mm. to change from one voice to another, with the exception of this, what's her name, Battles. Um, she's a young woman, but she's such a bitch that they won't hire her at the Met. They won't hire her in Italy or France. They will not hire her. She comes in. She doesn't show up for rehearsals. Mm. And when she does, she's late. And when she gets in, she causes trouble. No one's gotten trouble. tough with her. Hmm? Then. <laughs> well, they did. They will not hire her. She can't. They, no. Um, she um, uh, was. I refuse to perform unless you fire that singer. Um, some woman. Oh, this man. She causes problems with the rest of the cast. Mm. She. Um, she's just. And she's a bear to mm. whoever she's working opposite the male. Mm. She's just a bitch. Mm. I did hear her perform with Wynton Marsalis. Pop. Hmm. Man, she is good. One voice. One voice. No change of register. Oh, that's good. Like Joan Sutherland. Yes. Who is in her 70s. She's retired. Yeah. She's tired of traveling. Do you, do you see she, no. You know, and also another problem is with when you get people like Whitney Houston, at one point you, you would think they can sing a song straight, but then there is this, in pop music today, there is this reliance on the blue scale. Now, are you familiar with the blue scale? Oh, you know, yeah. the flatted fifths and flatted thirds. And I know all that. that they call certain things jazz. Uh, all of the standards are, I'm a jazz singer. Here, the hell you are. Um, they, they want to do all these riffs. Mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder started that. And yes. Why did he do He only did it on notes he was going to hold because yes. he didn't know what to hold. What do you mean? Well, if you're on an I sound, yes. He didn't know hold the R, sweetie, and go to the E. Yes. He was trying to sing I yes. as one sound, and and I can forgive him yes. because I would get on an ending note and then he'd do all these riffs and on him it sounded great. Yes. It wasn't falsetto, yeah. but he'd do these riffs, yes. and on him it was great. Then you pick up a copy of the music, and you find out that that's changed since he sang it, and uh, the good singers are singing just the melody line. Mm -hmm and not doing all of Stevie Wonder's riffs. Mm. He did them fabulous. Yes. But nobody else can do it. That's his thing. Yes. She's trying to appeal to a younger audience, and in the attempt, has ruined her voice. And there is no way it can be repaired. Mm. There is no way. Once a larynx, 
And years ago, they tried with Gallicurci, who was a very famous... Isn't he cute? Agnes. That face. That face. A very yeah, famous wonderful. opera singer who had a slipping larynx. Mm -hmm. And they surgically tried to stitch that together. Oh, yeah, she was out for a year. Mm -hmm. And we came back and sang for about, uh, well, I guess maybe three months. Mm -hmm. And it tore again. So they tried it one more time. Mm -hmm. And then did the same thing. So that's the end of Gallicurci. Mm -hmm. Madame Gallicurci. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. So we know that there's no restoring that. Mm -hmm. It's like you lose an arm. There's no way you're going to restore that arm. Yeah, you ought to see some of the new stuff they came out with. I see. Very I close, but it's no still longer the hooks. Same. They have a, it looks and it will I, respond. I know, I know. <laughs> They're doing wonderful things, but it's not the same flesh. No, no. Right. Close enough for jazz. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> when push comes to shove, it's not the same. But um, at any rate, that's beside the point. This they cannot restore. Mm. And she's, she talks. Mm. She talks. All the way through this, wow. all the way from on and on, walking back and forth across the stage, mm. etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, so, it, and the reason I'm showing this to all the classes who are not the beginning class but the others is so they'll recognize this is what happens when you do that. Now, what is she trying to do? She's trying to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. She's doing copy stuff. Yes. In essence, yes. they may be her riffs, but she's trying to copy a different style. She looks like hell. She looks like like she's hard. Yeah. There's no softness to her. Yeah, she used There's to have a, a beauty. Of, you know, the hair also doesn't help. Yeah. No, yeah. and she's a beauty, and she still has that great body. Yeah. A great. So body. how would you make her beautiful? I mean, how would you? Well, get her back to to working on uh, on being Whitney Houston. Looking like Whitney Houston, she looks more like her aunt than she does mm. herself. Yes. She looks more like Dionne Warwick, yeah. who's now doing commercials for uh, uh, what is it? Uh, like. uh, Psyche. Yeah, the Psychic Network. Would That's beside the point. What is important is to recognize what she's doing and what has happened to her voice as a result of what she's doing. She's doing the same thing Janis Joplin. Now, Janice didn't sing in a falsetto. No. Yes. But she blasted the shit out of it by overproducing, <laughs> yelling, screaming. I kept her in the best shape I could for almost three years. Mm. And by that time, she was so stoned when she'd come in here, nothing got through. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. she was gargling with Jack Daniels. Yeah. Um, so that, that... I think she did that on stage when she gargled with Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. She always had her bottle of hair. Not in the beginning. Not in the beginning. 